Okay, we're standing at the corner of the closest main road intersection to the Bedouin village of Al Arakib. Al Arakib uh, has been destroyed 108 times since 2010. That's almost every month the uh, Israeli police or IDF come and destroy this Bedouin village. They have title to this village going back to 1905. Nonetheless, the government keeps coming in and destroying the village. It's the visitor room. Here, the kitchen. Here, the toilet. And there, you see, when we make a shower, it's the down. And you see different trouble here. And all of uh, this trouble was a house in 2010, before 2010. And in 2010, my house and my neighbor house and my son house and my cousin house became to be rubble. First of all, welcome for you. Ahlan wa sahlan. With a happy face. With welcome. With Ahlan wa sahlan. But I'm feeling so sad. Why? Because I am did not looking like original Bedouin. Because nothing safe here. Before 2010, before the second big demolition, I had a beautiful Bedouin house, a nice Bedouin house with the original things. This is what Israel government try to kill my culture. You know, in my culture, any visitor came here, we will make new coffee for the visitor. This means it's the best that I take my visitor welcome and I show them I make it really when they came, they see with the eyes. Here the coffee. Original coffee, you see. Mm. All of the time, I thinking about what will happen, about our situation, about our land, what the government planning against us, the Arabs, the Bedouin, the Palestinians inside Israel. But my son hitting the police. My son hitting the soldiers, my son hitting the green patrol, my son hitting the GNF, my and together we continue our life. It's first of all, they're making music, but the really they're calling the neighbors, uh, and he uh, said, and he said, for, he said all, for all of them, all of the neighbors. Now I am making coffee. After half hour, you will come and you drink coffee. They've been reduced to what we would consider to be nothing. And yet, they fed us 
what several of us thought was the best meal we've had. With all that's been taken from him, he's still giving. He's still hospitable. He's still loyal to his culture, which says to welcome the stranger. The Arab expression is sumud, uh, which stands for steadfastness. And here, the organ document. Since 1905, since 19... 1999, since 1929, since 1936, since 1973, during Israel established. They recognize my land here. But the trial of the time to, to make my life hard in Arakib and to move. They think if they make my life hard, I will move. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. I will stay here. Mm -hmm. I will stay here. You know this? What is this? You know it. Yeah, we call it malo. Like malo? Yeah. Like, Khubeza. Uh, Khubeza. Khubeza. Ah. Now it's in winter. Maybe every day we eat in Khubeza in winter. Mm -hmm. It's a free, we only collect it like this and we cooked it and it's just think very, 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 very nice. Mm. Now, if they, the inspector show me take hubeza like this, it's illegal. Oh, oh. <gasps> it's yes, everywhere. Yes, it's, it's going everywhere. everywhere. Like that. Yes, like Aqub and like a Zatar. Because we only the Bedouin, the Arabs eat it. The Palestinians eat it, the Jews didn't eat it. Now it's illegal. Wow. If they show me, they will write for me a sign. I, I will pay uh, 800 shekels. We want the truth. That's what we're, we're all trying to do. What you're doing is keeping the truth alive. They are trying to kill the truth. Yes. That's what they're doing. Yes. The Israelis trying to kill the truth. Yes. Same thing in America, trying to kill the truth. Yes. Our job is to keep it alive.